Okay, so I just want to start off this video. That's the uh, 124 uh, car for today. But I'm here in the basement. I just want to sh <laughs> show you um, how I got... Well, not really how, because I already did it. But I um, just want to show you the destruction I made. Uh, so I couldn't find any um, any videos or any you know forms or anything helpful, really, to uh, help me get a 124... Monster Energy car off of its base because it's not a regular one where uh, or it's normal screws and that's pretty much it. This is the dumb triangle screws plus the glue on it. Now the glue was the easiest thing. I just used one of those flathead screwdrivers to scrape that out. Uh, but then came the very difficult part. I had no idea what to do. I was thinking about it for like half an hour. I thought maybe this would do something. So there was like this, I, they really didn't serve a purpose, but it's little black things kind of like right, right there. And I sawed those off both on the front and back. And then, you know, that didn't really do much. So then I started going at the sides. I sawed off <laughs> the sides here and then I bent those back with the pliers. The pliers is what did most of the work because from there I could slowly peel back <laughs> from the outside to the middle part and um and you know little by little i peeled the back i cut through and then i was able to just use force and pry it in half basically and then it, it snapped i did cut one screw completely clean off which i'm happy about but this was my only issue is that this screw still in there now i'm, I'm probably gonna leave it in there. as you can see i did accidentally mark up the exhaust a little bit here but that's the only thing the rest of the car um, cosmetic wise is 100% perfect besides that little exhaust because I was obviously you know trying to go at this and at the time that I was sawing the base was still kind of connected <laughs> so I was also sawing that off but yeah it's it's a pain to get off and I have more of these kinds of cars coming in too I have the Colorado wind coming in at some point I have I assume they do the same thing with alcohol, right? Because then if that's the case, I have uh, I have a Harvick car coming in. And I also have a Kurt Busch monster car coming in. Oh, boy. But, um, yeah. So, um, this is a base I'm obviously not keeping. It's going right in the trash. But I, I just want to share this destruction. Um, I don't think I'll ever make a how-to video because I don't recommend it. I did scratch myself up a little bit. It, it, it takes a lot of force. Uh, let me say that. And it's kind of dangerous. Both for the car and for you. <laughs> um, so I, I don't plan on making a how-to video on my way. I'm sure there's a much easier way. I'm sure I could just buy a triangle head screwdriver. But <laughs> uh, this is what I did. And it somehow worked out. All except for the, you know, this screw right here. But it doesn't hit the ground or anything. So um it, it's it's still pretty good in my opinion anyway <laughs> let's get on to the uh normal part of the video now okay so after that uh here we are we have five cars here three of them are new releases uh and as i said i was going to do in the previous video to kind of fill out the field to uh to five cars per review at least um i i got some uh, cheap three dollar cars from the clearance section of Lionel's own website. So, um, so first, let's look at these two are new releases, both the Stenhouse and the Jeffrey Earnhardt over here. So this is Ricky Stenhouse Jr.'s 2019 number 17 Fast and All Patriotic, and this is Jeffrey Earnhardt's IK9 Patriotic. There's that. Um, I'll get to this a little later, but the car does look a tiny bit weird. Um, but we'll get to that later. Um, yeah, let's go with these since they're 164. Um, these are from last year. Like I said, I got these uh, $3 from Lionel. Uh, I'm really surprised Blaney cars just didn't sell at all. Like It's very surprising because <laughs> it's Blaney. Um, this one is our Cars Isle Ford. Although Devil Bliss is the main sponsor in the hood and Carzile is on the quarter panel. Oh well. Next we have I mean this is like oh yeah. That's the most unimportant piece anyway. Uh and also we have Ryan Blaney's number twelve Dex Imaging Car. 
So there we are. And now on to this. The box art's really cool. Uh, obviously, as you can tell, the car is sitting a little lower because if you watched the first three minutes of this video, you would have seen uh, I, I got rid of the base. <laughs> um, but anyway, let's take a look at the box. Uh, there's even with the base, <laughs> the render has the base as well. Las Vegas, more Speedway winner. Haley Deegan seems to have her own logo on everything that's produced. Uh, the bottom is legal stuff as usual. The top uh, is a nice picture after she won. Uh, you can see the dirt. And then social media stuff. TRD, Deegan 38, uh, Bill McNally Racing, NASCAR K&N Series. Uh, over here, we have pretty much the same stuff, just in different orders. You have... This is one of 1,333. Uh, yeah, <laughs> about a year ago, we didn't know if we would even get k and cars. And uh, now we're getting a k and car that has over 1,000 made. And on the back, we have this Victory Lane picture. And uh, you'll see the same picture on the card that comes with it as well. So anyway, uh, without further ado, let's get all these open. Okay, so this is everything unpackaged. Let's start with the 164 new releases, then we'll go to the Blaney's, then we'll go to the 124. So first we have Ricky Stenhouse Jr.'s Fastenal Patriotic. The hood is mainly white with these red, uh, I don't know what to call them, the red part of the paint scheme kind of starts up here. Goes back here and then sort of merges a little bit with the blue. And as you can see the background has uh, basically an American flag. It looks like uh, you have the stars and you have the stripes as well. Basically looks like, as I said, kind of a picture of an American flag in the background there. Then pretty much the whole back of the car is in blue. Uh, the deck lid, there is a star as well. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the paint scheme itself. The numbers, all of them I believe, uh, they are a little different. Side numbers are white with the blue and the black outline, and the roof is white with the gray and the black outline. Sponsors, we have Fastenal Industrial Construction Supplies, uh, along with DeWalt. Over here, we have uh, Fastenal again, MSA, the supply company, Mac Tools, some other stuff down there. <laughs> uh, then we have Ford... Fifth, third, what else is here? I I don't know. <laughs> In the back we have Loctite. And I believe everything, hold on, let me just check this real quick. I believe everything on this side is the same. I know this happened a couple times where I'm like, oh, it's the same. And then there's like something special on this side that I just completely miss. Um, it does have the special tires, which I forget what they say. Uh, Honor... Damn it. Um, honor something. I I can't read the last word. Honor. <laughs> um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. The deck lid has 3M and the roof has Fastenal. Uh, next, 164 new release. This, this kind of has a flat finish. This one has more of a gloss. This Jeffrey Earnhardt IK9 Xfinity Series car. Um, now, it does look different. Uh, I think this is my first Toyota Supra, and maybe that's just what it is. Maybe the Supras look weird, but you see kind of the cab just kind of juts up and then slants. It's weird. It, it The body just looks weird on the Supra to me. Uh, but anyway, the paint scheme is really cool. You have... The dark blue hood with the stars outlining it. Then on the front here, it kind of transfers into another little American flag kind of design. The middle is red, uh, fading in from the blue from the hood. And then that fades into white on the back. And the very back of the car is black. The numbers, all of them I believe, are white with black outline. Let's get on to the other stuff. IK9 Officer uh, and K9 Officer J.H. Sheldon Moore, Mooresville Police, North Carolina. Um, this feels like something that, that there would be something special on this side. Um, Tex Sheldon, you have three winner stickers there. Uh, obviously, none from Jeffrey, all from Kyle, I believe. You have the NASCAR salutes. You again have the special tires. Uh, you have a picture of Sheldon. And uh, his canine there. 
What is this? Uh, that's Extreme Concepts Racing down there. Interstate Batteries, Freightliner, Mac Tool, Sher Sherwin Williams, Lincoln Welders, Mobile One. Um, this side should be the same. Yeah, Tech Sheldon, USO. Same picture on the back. IK9, USO, USO. Um, and then you have another K9 logo on the deck lid. Pretty cool. So now, as I said, these are both from last year, but they're cheap. And they kind of fill out the video a little bit. So here is Ryan Blaney's 2018 Dex imaging car. Mostly red. Uh, as you can see, the skirt, the side skirts are in white and on the back here as well. The white kind of goes all the way around. The splitter is red though, however. And it kind of has the... I, I've been calling it the Earnhardt E, but apparently they're known as like scallops. Uh, so the white starts up here on the grill and then on each side it kind of turns into these scallop designs and uh yeah and the numbers are all white with the black outline you have dex imaging and penzoil on the front you have menards on the side you have ford cessna ppg freightliner uh uh Ma mazic <laughs> carzile uh, on the back, Dex Imaging, Declid Dex Imaging, nothing on the roof. I believe this, there's nothing that special on this side. I am correct. So now, I'm on to the last 164. Um, this one is, I don't really have to say much about this because it's the same exact paint scheme. Uh, you have the white main body, the side skirts, and around the back are the orange this time. Splitter is, again, the main color of the body, white. And then you have the orange scallops starting at the grill and on each side turning into said scallops. To me, they could look more like flames. <laughs> but uh, all the numbers are orange with the white, out oh, I'm sorry, black outline. Uh, with the sponsors, you have Devil, De I've been calling it Devil Bliss, but it's Devil Biss. Devil Biss and Penzoil on the hood, Carzoil and Menards over here, Dex Imaging. Uh, Ford, Cessna, Mazak, all PPG, all the stuff that I pretty much said before. Don't believe there's anything special on this side. I always have to check now. And on the back, we have Devil Biss, Declid, Devil Biss, and nothing on the hood. So now let's get on to what everyone's been waiting for, most anticipated. Um, Haley Deegan car. So first, it comes with this card, Star Nursery 100 winner, February 28th. There's the same picture we saw in the box. You can read all these stats and the bio by pausing the video, of course, if you really want to. Um, yeah, we know it was on a stand. Uh, Lionel Garage. Yeah. So, on to the car. I'm just, I was just noticing this as I was doing the other cars. That might have been, I might have made a mistake there. I don't remember doing that, and I just noticed it now, but like, uh, oh well. Uh, <laughs> I plan on putting it right here so it would be sideways. So my plan, there we go. Now you don't have to see it. And that's the side that has all the dirt on it too, so. Um, but damn, I didn't even notice that till now. Um, I did drop it once. I, I never saw it anywhere near there, but I did drop it once. Um, maybe that's what that's from. Anyway, this is a really cool car. It's obviously Gen 4. So you have pretty much all of the old detail that used to be on cars is now back. Um, I suppose I had that. I, I keep forgetting to do that just so the light is a little bit better. Um, so it's not like blaring onto the car. So, um, anyway, let's go, you know, with the paint scheme itself first. It's obviously all black. There's not much in terms of paint scheme. It is literally all black. All the numbers are white with the green outline. When the house phone is ringing, it is definitely a scam call because that's all it ever is. Um, lost my train of thought. Um, we have sponsors. We have Monster and Napa Power Premium Plus. And then you have all the contingencies. Napa Power Premium Plus again. Uh, Toyota Racing Development. Monster Energy Mobile One. Napa. NGK. Uh, Bill McNally Racing Toyota. Uh, on the deck lid, Monster Energy. This is DIN 132. Thought I'd mention that. On the back, NapaFilters.com. All about how you drive. 
and Bill McNally Racing. On the hood, nothing. But the, the, it does have a custom name, apparently. Um, you do have a couple uh, different things here. You have Paul Kurz, and I, I I don't know what that first name is. I thought it says Clam, but that doesn't, I don't know, unless it's a nickname. Clam Dro, Dro, Drosty. I'm probably butchering that so much because I think it says Clam, but I'm sure it doesn't. Uh, um, anyway, that's it. That That's really it <laughs> for the sponsors and stuff. Now I move on to the damage. Um, now I kind of studied the picture on the box before doing this as well. Um, they did the best they could there in real life. There was dirt caked here and here. That's kind of hard to replicate with just decals. So it's pretty much all blacked out over here. It's just, you know, it's all black. Um, the Toyota is not blacked out because of dirt. If you look at the picture, there is no Toyota logo at all there. Um, so that's blacked out because that just happened to be on the mold. But, um, yeah, there there was no Toyota logo there at all to begin with. Um, you have the Canon Pro Series up here. Um, trunk does open. As I said, all the old features you got with Gen 4s. Come on. Did I break? I didn't break the trunk, did I? Oh my god, did I break this trunk? It was just opening fine before. Okay. Well, there's a fuel cell in there. Um... Yeah, fuel cell. And somewhat detailed, but... Oh my god. This is why I said I wouldn't make a how-to video of how I got this off the base. <laughs> I was literally just going on, you know... I was going on a whim, basically. I was just doing a step-by-step -step how I thought it could be done. You know, there was nothing professional about what I did. Um, you have roof flaps that do deploy. There you go. Um, and... A new way I found out, but also this kind of requires two hands sometimes, uh, is that you hold, I know you're not going to be able to see this, but you hold the car down, then you hit it right in front of the hood, and then the hood will eventually pop open. That's a little tough here. Um, let me, I know you're seeing darkness. There we go. That was a lot quicker than I thought. Now look at this. If you're not used to Gen 4 cars, look at all that detail. This is ARC. This is not Elite. But I'd, I'd say that this is better than the current Elite engine detail. Just look at all that. Hoses, wires, and everything. That is beautiful. Another nice touch. First of all, because it's dirt and short track, there is no rear window, which makes this a little better to see. Hopefully you can see it. If you can see the steering wheel here, where is this? <laughs> yeah, you can kind of see it. It's a, I can't get it to focus. But you see the steering wheel there? It helps that's part gray. Uh, but I'm going to move this. And as you can see, the steering wheel also moves. That's something that we haven't seen for a few years now. But now that they, I, I assume they just picked up a bunch of old Gen 4 bodies and put the Deegan stuff on it. You know, we get all the old features, including the wheel, which is really cool. Then you have a bunch of interior detail as well. Oh, I'm still zoomed in. <laughs> um bunch of interior detail but that's kind of all still standard have some hoses and stuff in there um what else oh, i didn't really do damage did i uh, i kind of started on that and then i <laughs> went on to features um you have instead of just plastic blocks of radios you also have these radios like actual pieces isn't that cool um it's really cool to have a new release with all the old features um I'm sorry, I said I would do damage. Uh, front tire here is completely scraped off, pretty much everything. General tires off. These are dirt tires, just so you know. Um, nice treaded dirt tires. I did not scratch these up to my knowledge, which is awesome. And also, while I have this, um, notice how it's a metal body. It's still ARC, but it's not plastic. It's metal. How nice. You have it. There is no working suspension. I don't think there is springs back here, but the springs don't really move. Uh, and I didn't break it because I did try testing it out beforehand. There are springs back there, but and it looks like suspension doesn't work. But um, so anyway, uh, damage not created by me. Uh, you have a tire mark over here by the contingencies. You have a bunch of dirt, which kind of makes this car because dirt win 
<laughs> never to my knowledge, well, trucks, trucks. Um, but we've never gotten, especially Gen 4 car, have not gotten dirt winds on a car. We've gotten on trucks. Um, here on this tire, you have general, and it's not general tire that it says, it says general grabber, which I assume is the kind of tire that uh, is used for dirt. Uh, you have this weird little white part here. I don't know if that's supposed to replicate damage, but because the whole car is black, uh, they made it white. I don't know. You have a little bit of scraping here. Obviously, I haven't mentioned this, but you can definitely see all of the dirt um, all over. That's not dust or anything. That is actually dirt. Although, especially on the white, you can see the white of the numbers. Dirt and a bunch of dirt, bunch of dirt. As far as actual damage, that's pretty much it. It's just all dirt the rest of the time. I kind of wish, like I said before, that they could do something, you know, about the dirt that was caked up on the front. But I understand it's mostly decals. But anyway, that is pretty much it. Also, cloth window net, but that's kind of standard uh, still today. Um, anything else I can think of? Not really. Um, really cool car. I'm glad I got it. I did not pre-order. I, you know, I didn't start making the decision to start collecting more 124s until, well, as you guys know, about a month ago. And by then it had been long sold out. Actually, I did look on the website. There are a few online hell right now, but in the pre-order stage, it was sold out for months. Um, and the only, I could find, I couldn't find any on eBay at first. Then the first day it came out, I found one on eBay, but it was going for 250 And then all of a sudden, once peop, more people started getting them, they're actually selling them at retail price. That was something kind of surprising. Like they weren't, assuming they bought it, they weren't really making any money off of it because the retail price was $70, which yes, I know is $20 more than the regular ARC, but that's because features, uh, Gen 4 features. Um, they were selling it on eBay for $70 free shipping. And that's how I got mine. <laughs> so, and it's really fast shipping too. I got it like two days ago. Um, and it's here. Anyway, um, let me know if you like, um, you know, trying to add more cars, trying to get the, the, you know, at least five cars in a video. Cause it's not like half an hour long, like it was when I was doing like 10, 11 cars. Uh, but also with 124s, I kind of spend a little bit of time on those as well. So let me know what you guys think. I'm really excited <laughs> to have this car. Really cool. And uh, anyway, uh, I guess that's pretty much all I have to say. Thanks for watching.